Ned. Oh, Jesus. Ah, crap, my points. You can get more of those later. <laughs> my dance crew got challenged by our rival dance crew, and I gotta go step to them. Cool. But here's the thing. My cousin's coming in from the country, and I need you to just take care of him for the afternoon. Oh, come on, dude. It's my day off. So what? Go do all the stuff you were gonna do around the city, but, you know, bring him along. Show him a good time. Fine. But you know what you owe me. Three dream catchers adorned with feathers. I know, I know. Bye. Hello? City cousin Connor? It's me, your country cousin, Clyde. The door wasn't locked from where I come from. That means come on in. Anyway, I sure am excited for us to do all those city things we talked about, like billiards and laser tag. Yeah, sorry, cousin Connor couldn't make it, but uh, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you around the big city. So, uh, what do you want to do? Well, if I'm being honest with you, I got a little rumble in my tummy, and uh, with the lack of a dinner bell, my biological clock's a little out of whack. Right. Well, uh, over here is actually Houston's finest Szechuan restaurant. Oh, can we go try it? No, hmm? oh, hell no, we can't afford that. Come on. Oh, uh, actually, over here is one of the uh, revolving sushi bars in Houston. It actually brings the sushi right to you. Oh, wow. Well, can we eat here? No. No, we can't afford any of this, okay? Oh. Well, is there anything that we can afford? Uh, free public art and select museums. Come on. This is Houston's most famous sculpture. Hey, how many cows do you think you can get for trading in this bean? <laughs> Alright, now I'm going to show you one of the finest things the city has to offer. A little contemporary art. Well, alright, I like artsy fartsy crap. Wait, wait, Clyde! Oh, look, people just don't care about 9-11 in the big city. <laughs> Whoo wee! You know, one thing I thought about doing was since I'm in a fancy city, I'd wear my fancy transition lenses. <laughs> what do you think about these bad boys? You, uh, you really got them on there. All right, so this is one of uh, Houston's parks. Uh, enjoy the nature. Oh, it's beautiful, but I know exactly what to do at a park, buddy. <laughs> Here, hold my glasses. Here we go. Oh, hey, I think your water might be broken. Oh. These are called ducks. I... We got them back in the country. <laughs> you won't try? Nah, I'm not doing that. I got the shirt from Marshalls. These are glasses. Man, all this rumbling and tumbling is making me a little parched. You mind if we get something to drink? You know, Clyde, for a country bunk, and you're not so bad. Got you drink? Well, you know, for a city slicker, you're not so bad yourself. <laughs> you know, uh, in the country, when we're drinking together, we say something, uh, we say cheers. No way. In the city, we say cheers. Well, all right. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, God. Call that alcohol? Yeah. No way, Ned. How about I introduce you to some Clifton family moonshine? Whew. That'll put hair on your chest. Try it. <laughs> All right. Cheers. Cheers. So I said, you know, you can bleed an elephant into the water, but you ain't gonna make him wear shoes. <laughs> Oh, Clyde, you are too much. <laughs> oh, thank you, friend. Man, I hope you had a good time in the city. You know, I did, but to be frank with you, uh, the best part about today was this beautiful weather and making a new best friend. And if I'm being completely honest with you, I don't need to be in the city to do all that. 
In the country, I can avoid all the confusing bells and whistles and the neon signs and all the big hustle and bustle rat race and all the things that you could do, but you can't even afford it. And, you know, in the country, mudding's free if you got a truck. Anyway, I just wanted to give you this gift that you can remember the beautiful day that we had together. Clyde, this is... Clyde! What's up, dude? We totally won the dance competition. Oh, that's... that's fantastic, man. I was hanging out with my country cousin. He's, uh... he's really something else. He, uh... he taught me a lot about different American cultures and how if we just took the time to accept one another, we could really have a good time and everyone could live peacefully. Yeah, that's cool. You, know, you want to go sniff some Sharpies and, like, play video games? Oh, dude, fuck yeah, let's do it. Cool.